Black and White Network. We are back with another video. And is there a more distrustworthy network on TV than CNN Cable News Network, a.k.a. the Communist News Network? They seem to be so corrupt that their on air talent is dropping like flies. And now, of course, we know found out yesterday that Jeff Zucker stepped down as well. They are corrupt, completely corrupt. They have been out there ever since Donald Trump got in office. They were pushing that he was this bit bad boogeyman out there when apparently behind closed doors, CNN was actually covering up a whole lot of really, really bad stuff from Andrew Cuomo, you know, Alfredo's brother and the the Cuomo crime family. They got exposed. Chris Cuomo got fired. CNN was forced to fire him. Jeff Zucker find out that he's at having um, um, inappropriate relationships with somebody at work. That's not a good look, not a good look at all. But apparently now there actually may be more stuff to Jeff Zucker than what we're actually led to believe. Go over here to OutKick, guys. Over here on OutKick, AT&T negotiating to pay Chris Cuomo $9 million to shut up about Jeff Zucker. Now, AT&T is the uh, parent company of CNN. This is probably going to get a whole lot more juicier, folks. Uh, let's read some of this. AT&T, the parent company of CNN, is willing to pay former CNN anchor Chris Cuomo around $9 million to prevent him from revealing what he knows about now former CNN president Jeff Zucker. This week, Zucker told staffers that he resigned because he did not disclose a romantic relationship with Allison uh, Golus, the chief marketing officer for CNN. Wow. But according to the New York Post, Zucker agreed to resign at the request of AT&T chief John Stanky. The agreement said that if Zucker resigned without a fight, then Stanky would settle with Cuomo over a pending lawsuit that threatens to bring Zucker's graver actions to light. Now, what are these graver actions? That's what I'm really, really curious about. You know, in some kind of way, deep down inside, I'm really hoping that uh, Cuomo doesn't settle with uh, CNN, but he probably will, you know, because I wonder if it's something really, really illegal that could get exposed from uh, Jeff Zucker if this goes any further. Uh, Cuomo, I guess he's holding all the cards here. Uh, Asked for $20 million, not nine, <laughs> not nine. But anyway, it says here, quote, while Zucker paid the price stepping down as top dog of a global television network, he did so with the agreement that he would keep a piece of his privacy um, for leaving quickly and without a fight. Sources told the Post. If Cuomo filed his lawsuit and AT&T fought it, then potentially damaging information about Zucker could come out too, the source said. While Chris Cuomo has not filed the lawsuit, CNN is aware that a draft of, it, of the lawsuit mentioned Zucker's name multiple times. The draft presumably uh, includes information that uncovers Zucker's role in aiding Cuomo's brother, former, C former um, New York uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo of the Cuomo crime family. Quote, Zucker and Allison uh, Goku's Zucker's uh, paramour and uh, Andrew Cuomo's former communications director had an ethically dubious relationship with former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. The Post reports. The pair would coach the governor on his now infamous COVID briefings, telling him what to say and how to respond to criticisms from President Donald Trump to make more compelling television. Keep in mind, Zucker lifted the ban that prevented Chris Cuomo from covering or interviewing his brother in the spring of 2020, around the time of Andrew Andrew's COVID briefings. That man is responsible for killing 15,000 elderly people in nursing homes. And nothing has happened to him. Nothing. Andrew Cuomo deserves to be in jail. And it seems like his brother Fredo, Chris Cuomo, should be right there with him, man. 
the Cuomo crime family is a real thing. When you start killing that many people, man, and CNN doesn't report on, report on it, all these other leftist on media sites don't want to talk about it. I have a real problem with that. I really, really do. But it goes on. It says, so Zucker did not merely resign for not disclosing a consensual relationship with a colleague as he cites in his resignation letter. That was a cover. Whatever he's hiding, AT&T believes is damning. So much so that AT&T is negotiating with Cuomo to reach a deal uh, that pay him half of the $18 million remaining on his contract in an effort to shut him up. Ask for the whole thing, uh, Chris Cuomo. Ask for the whole thing or threaten to come out with more information. All this drama leads back to Andrew Cuomo. The governor, once admired by Democrats everywhere, has brought brought down himself, his younger brother, and the head of CNN in less than a year. And that is glorious, folks. It really is. And AT&T and CNN fears it could be nets. Unfortunately, there is no hero in this story. It seems as, as if all parties have dark secrets that reveal the extent to which they've abused their powers. So there you have it, guys. Negotiations are real. And CNN or AT&T, I should say, could be settling with Chris Cuomo for nine million dollars, half of his salary that uh, was left on his contract when he was actually fired. People are not trusting CNN. They're not. I mean, who is the number one draw over there? There's nobody I can think of at the Communist News Network that is a reliable source. No pun intended there to uh, Brian Stelter, but Brian Stelter, his ratings are in the trash. Uh, who else is left over there? Uh, Don Lamont, untrustworthy. Untrust, These people lie all day long. Jeff Zucker, corrupt. Andrew Cuomo, the Cuomo crime family, corrupt. It is a complete and utter dumpster fire. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.